there we go, we're on. It is rainwater, it is nearly pure distilled water and you can see that there is zero production. My amps are at 0.9 of an amp. My volts are at, you can see that, 10.2, 10.3. Right, okay, it's jumped up to one volt there. Or one amp, sorry. Yeah, one amp and still more or less zero production. So, here we go with the bread soda. I give it a good bit. The water is cold. It isn't hot, it isn't warm, it is freezing cold. Because I'm out in the shed in Ireland and it's probably about 17 degrees or 7 degrees outside. Right, there's my amps. 5.4 volts. The bolts have actually dropped to 7.2. But production has come up. And then hopefully you can see that. I am producing gas. It's actually working rather well. A big thank you to LIT, the college I go to, as they gave me two, two extra multimeters on top of my own multimeter. So thank you, college. Or thank you, Joe, I should say. So anyway, there's production at five. I'm going to try to step it up to about seven. Obviously, as the heat, as the water, as the current goes through the water, it will heat up the water and we get our bit of a snowball effect where as the water warms up, production will also warm up, will also go up. So there we go, it's 6.2 and as the electrolyte gets into the water more and more, as it, it dissolves into the water, production will come up. There's my cat, Orange. Ironically, also orange in colour. I'll just shake it up there a bit. Whoops. Right. I think what I might have to do is actually boil the water and have electrolyte in it so it's 100% completely saturated. So it is totally saturated and then. I know the water is saturated and put it in cold and then have it heat up. There's a second cat. Go on Arch. Go on Arch. Anyway. So like every professor yes I have an evil cat. Right. And volts have actually gone down to six point three. If anyone can tell me why volts are going down, I would be happy as I think there is a problem or something like that or maybe it's the electrolyte I'm using don't know but anyway there we have it so I Ireland I have searched everywhere if anyone can tell me where to find bronze wool I would be very very happy there is no Home Depot in Ireland please don't tell me to go to Home Depot because there isn't any so I've searched, searched all over Kilkenny, all over Limerick, I've asked people, no one even knows what the stuff is. It's like bronze wool, like steel wool, but it's only made of bronze. So I have managed to get this funny stuff. Yeah, it looks, it looks very familiar, it looks like ordinary just cotton wool, but it's not. It's from a kiln. So uh, it can go up to 1,600 degrees Celsius before it starts to melt or burn. So I'm using that instead of bronze wool. I have no idea if it's going to work. But I do have some of it packed in my pipe. I don't know if you can see it. It goes from about there all the way up to about there-ish. There. So next video I'll show you. Um, see if I can get it to work. I'm using milk curtains. And you'll never guess what I've already tried. I blew up one! It was great! Uh, use fine, no I didn't use, I used coarse uh, stainless steel wool. Believe me it does not work. Couldn't find fine stainless steel wool, couldn't find bronze wool so I'm using this stuff. There's a special name on it, can't remember what it's called. But anyway, the fire managed 
I did try it and it did work but when I connected the needle because the pressure built up the gas went around the, the stainless steel wool and so when I lit it lit the end of it with the needle on the fire managed to jump all the way back all the way down straight into my bubbler and blew it up so I'm taking extra precaution by having two bubblers this time in case the fire blows up when the fire goes into it and explodes it it went all the way down to here so I'm guessing that was the pressure of water that actually blew it out but if the fire did go down and my pipe is only about here the fire could easily jump back in go up and in, into my cells so that's what the second bubbler is for the only thing, disadvantage is I have to have enough pressure now to blow, blow the gas through that out of that and up into the next one so will it work but it won't don't know uh, that's why there's such things as experiments and I'll experiment and find out right there's gas production up to 7 amps 6.3 volts and there we have it I know with other videos they can the gas is coming off so much that you can't even see the bottom I can clearly see the bottom so any ideas how to make it work better I'm all ears so this is Stephen Harper out <laughs>